Hi there everybody, Farm Sim Gamer here and welcome back to Rustic Acres and boy have we been busy over the last few days trying to build our bank balance so we can do one of two things. Buy fields 32 and 40, cut down the trees that divide them, plow up the road and then merge them into one big field. So in order to do that we've had to boost our bank balance from a little over $575,000 right up to just under $2 million so we could afford to buy the fields. So we've been doing a ton of work, we've harvested all of our fields, we made a lot of money on our clover, our coffee and our red cabbage and we took on a whole load of contracts as well. Um, so here's a quick look back to see what we've been up to. So as you can see, we had a pretty busy couple of days um, and our bank balance has been boosted up to just under $2.1 million, which is brilliant. Uh, we managed to get another cut off our field five of clover yesterday. Um, so between the crop and the actual bales, that gave us about $120,000 as well. So um, so really pleased with that. And uh, the first thing that we need to do now is go off and buy those two fields. 
So field 32 and 40 and the grand plan is that the trees that line the road here uh, we will cut those down, um, we will uh, chop them up for wood chips um, and then we will plough through the road here and merge these two fields into one big field. Um, if I have a look at the um, prices for wood chips as you can see $2,342 uh, $1, for uh, a thousand litres um, so we should earn quite a big uh, of money from that. So first thing I need to go and do is buy a wood chipper. Uh, we'll take that up to the field, we'll buy these two, uh, two fields and we'll start getting on with that. So just have a little look in the shop menu under forestry equipment. Um, there's a slightly modified um, uh, BA725D uh, wood chipper that I'm going to lease actually I'm not going to purchase it I'm going to lease it I'm not sure when I'll need it again in the future so for the time being I'm just going to lease things um, so uh, there's not too many options kind of on here um, I'll have it as factory new so I don't have to do any repair on it or anything so um, we're going to lease that um, so I'll go down to the shop uh, get that picked up um, then I'll take uh, that and a tractor and trailer and my chainsaw up to those two fields and um, we'll uh, start chopping those trees down. Right as you can see uh, we're up at the two fields now so field 32 here has got a crop of barley in it that's growing and uh, field 40 that's just behind us that's got grass in it. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that at the moment but um, uh, we'll have to see I might end up kind of plowing it in I'm not sure. Um, so I need to get um, the wood chipper unfolded um, put the uh, unloading section out um, that is adjustable so I'll reverse the trailer up and uh, just check that's the right height then we'll start chopping some of these trees down and um, start making some wood chips really uh, so there's not not loads and loads there's a few more on the other side there's some smaller ones kind of scattered in amongst those but um, not sure how long this will take me but uh, we'll see how we get on Okay, so that's uh, one side of the road completed, um, and this is our second trip down to uh, to sell wood chips, and we've made um, with this load it'll be about two hundred and ninety thousand um, dollars, so a lot more than I thought it would be. So uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, now we've been using the lumberjack mod, which does help, um, means that we can grind the stumps out with the chainsaw, so that's pretty useful. Um, and of course, if you do want to do things the easy way, and you don't want to, you're not bothered about the wood chips and the money. Um, then you can use the uh, chainsaw vertically like this just to get rid of the trees completely. Um, so it's a pretty useful mod and um, if you want to do things like I said pretty uh, quick and easy and just get rid of the trees then um, this is certainly a good option for you. 
So I finished up using the chainsaw in exactly that way and we just uh, got rid of all the trees completely. Uh, I was kind of happy with the money that we made from the wood chips so um, I didn't bother doing the rest of the other side of the road. Uh, so we're just packing the equipment away, the wood chip has gone back up to the shop and as you can see um, both sides of the roads now are completely clear of trees so that's good. Next up we need to get on with the cultivating. So now we've cleared all of those trees, um, I need to merge the two fields together, which means I need to um, uh, create fields. Uh, so I need to have a plow for that. Um, and uh, there's a new, uh, or a John Deere that's appeared in the Mod Hub recently, this 2410 plow. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And because we've got bigger land now as well, this is gonna be very useful um, in the future. So I'm gonna purchase this. Um, uh, now it only needs uh, 200 horsepower, which is pretty good, which means our 4840 can pull it. Um, and it's got a good 12 meter width, so that's pretty handy. So I'm gonna buy this um, and then we'll get up to the field and I'm gonna start kind of merging those two pieces of land together. Okay, so we're just arriving up at the field. Um, now, in addition to um, ploughing up the road and merging the two fields, I also want to kind of expand the fields as well a little bit. Um, as you can see, there's some fairly large grass verges um, uh, around both fields. Uh, so in order to maximise the kind of field and the yield potential, um, I want to kind of just plough some of these out as, as well. Uh, so I'm gonna start up in this uh, corner. I'm gonna follow the line of field 32 and then go straight across the road, uh, straight into field 40 and hopefully um, I can get as straight a line as possible and we can kind of expand things. So um, we'll get this unfolded and uh, we'll uh, start cracking on with that and see how we get on. So that's all of the merging and the expanding done. Um, all we're gonna do now is uh, plow in that grass field, field 40. Um, and then all we'll be left to do after that is um, plow field 32 up once the barley's been harvested. And then just a few finishing touches, um, painting the grass back in where the road is um, and uh, just kind of masking that up so it um, doesn't look like the road was there in the first place. And then um, we just stuck a couple of trees back in as well just to kind of hide um, the old entrance and everything uh, so you'd hardly know that it was ever there. Right, well that's all of the headlands done as you can see. Um, we've kind of done as much as possible and we've ploughed in field 40. Um, so uh, uh, we've kind of expanded the um, field as much as I wanted to really. I didn't take it right out to the um, uh, to the outer trees, just left a little bit of space around the outside, but it's left us with a nice big field as you can see. Um, so all we've got to do is wait for the barley um, to harvest that and then we'll be able to cultivate the whole field um, and uh, get ready for setting the, uh, the next crop. Um, so I guess next up we'll have to get a bigger cultivator and a bigger drill because um, that's what will be needed for this field and uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue earning some money uh, so we can expand the farm. And in the afternoon we finished up with a few more harvest contracts so I'm going to leave things here and let the music play out. Uh, so I'll say thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And whatever you're doing, wherever you are, stay safe, take care and I'll catch you on the farm next time. Bye for now. Queen of Hearts 
When everyone folds your fort to holds Your place in your bed Showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies Roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know Got me tiptoeing around you like you made a blast Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my Trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your. 